As you can see, I have imported the photos from the camera to the desktop. Now, in order to get them into Photoshop from here is very simple. Once you have Photoshop open, go to the File menu, then down to Automate, and look for Merge to HDR. This will open up the import window, then you will need to browse to your photos. Once you find them, select them, and click Open, and OK. This will begin the process of creating an HDR image. It will take a minute, so I'm going to jump ahead to that point. Now we have our image ready for processing. As you see here, we're in 16-bit mode. There are two other modes, 8-bit, which has the same settings as 16-bit, and 32-bit, which only allows you to set the white point. But once processed, will contain all the exposure data from all your shots. In this video, we will work only with the 16-bit mode. Then in the next video, we'll jump over to 32-bit mode, so I can show you how to create a stunning HDR image without having to lose your exposure data. Now, looking at these settings, there are quite a few to manipulate. First, we have our edge glow with sliders for the radius of the glow as well as the strength. Then gamma, which affects the contrast of the midtones in an image. Exposure controls the amount of light in the image. Detail affects the sharpness and clarity. Shadow affects the lightness and darkness of the shadows. Highlight affects the lightness and darkness of the highlights. Then down here, we have the color adjustments, vibrance and saturation. And finally, we have our curve adjustments. This is going to be working with your histogram of the image and is very powerful. You probably notice there is also a preset menu up here at the top. This is a great place to find a good starting point. Find a preset and then tweak it to your liking. Once your image is set the way you want it, click OK and Photoshop will create your HDR image. From here, you can save your image to file or make more color toning adjustments and then save it out. In the next video, we'll look at 32-bit HDR images and how powerful they are. Thank you for joining me. I'm Steven Streeter.